Hey guys, before we get into today's awesome video of a pretty crazy announcement, this weekend on Sunday, I'm actually hosting a car meet for all of you guys to come hang out and see all of the cars. It is a Legends Summer Opener. I'm gonna leave all the information on the screen. It's this Sunday at Gosh Ford in Temecula. We have a full venue that can fill like 400 cars. It's gonna be amazing. So you guys better pack us out. We're gonna have the Legends booth. We're gonna have merchandise for you guys there. And best of all, the first 50 Legends VIP members in line at the booth are actually getting a special little care package that we We've set up for you guys from all the different sponsors and some goodies in there it's really really cool so if you're a legends vip and you're in the area come to the show and you guys are gonna get a little gift bag thing it is so cool but the car show is gonna be amazing it's the first one that we've actually thrown since the previous open house so it's pretty much like that except it's not at the warehouse this time we have a full venue so we can fit tons and tons of cars so if you guys are in the area it's gonna be amazing this sunday 12 to 5. It will be $5 for you guys to get in, but 100% of the proceeds actually go to benefit a charity called Reach Out Worldwide, which is a disaster relief. It's really cool. Cody Walker will be there to actually speak a little bit more on that as well. So this is going to be an amazing car show and I hope that you guys can make it. I'll leave the information down in the description box below, but all right, let's get into today's video. <laughs> Find another car. Here we go. One for the collection that we've uh, we've wanted for a while. I've been actually hoarding parts in the garage, waiting for this car. Now we're actually gonna get one and we can use the parts. So thought I'd take you guys along. This is gonna be a little journey. We have a six hour road trip ahead of us, so let's go. the trip. I don't know if you guys recognize this, but we always stop here when we go to Budwell to the track. Uh, this is one of the best food trucks I've ever had. We're getting some tacos. Oh yeah, I'm excited, man. Got me a burrito. <laughs> Sounds so good. I'm ready for it. Here we go. Chicken fajitas look bomb. It was like an hour long wait. Tim and Phil are still waiting. But what time is it right now? It is 10.09 at night and we are supposed to meet the guy at 12.30 or yeah, 12.30 and uh, we still have a three hour drive so we gotta get going. Homemade so bomb. <laughs> he would. We're getting close. Home stretch boys. Hour and a half left out of our five hour drive. Are we still pumped? So excited. <laughs> Tim's like, no. <laughs> we got a full scent to get the car, boys. I think I think we've all been there. Or is it just me? I've been there. Yeah, we've all been there. Well, apparently we're almost there, but it really seems like we're gonna meet up with a group of individuals in, <laughs> in robes and torches and be in a ceremonial circle. That's what this is. If somebody jumped out and killed all of us right now, no one would ever know. That's where we are. <laughs> okay, quick update. It is 1.07, can you turn the light off with him? 1.07 in the morning and we have arrived, well, we're about to arrive at the guy's house and we're gonna show you guys his car. It's been a long day, but I'm hoping that this car is actually nice and we're gonna pick it up, so. Check it out. You ready, boys? Yep. We're still alive. <laughs> I see the car. It's oh, past yeah. this uh, black one. Ooh. Oh, wait. Where's the hood? <laughs> I have a hood. <laughs> the no, the does it really not have a hood? It didn't have a hood in any of the pictures. Drive. You're joking me. No. So it's we okay. drove this all this way. And you, and your honest opinion here is you don't think we should do it. Not for the money. What's What do you think for the money? I don't know, dude. This does, does this even have windshield wipers? How do I do windshield It has one windshield ever. And, but it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. Well, here's the log digging diff. I just, I just don't know, dude. Like, I know we drove a shit ton of Look at the way, fucking lights, dude. What? <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> shit. Can you even see right now? No. <laughs> I'm going so slow. Look at this. Oh, you can see better through the camera. <laughs> That's insane. 
Wait, did we go the right way? Yeah, who knows. Well, let's talk it over, Guys, Tim. That was a complete bust. That was a uh, six six hour drive <laughs> for so nothing. Sad. The pictures looked extremely different than what that car was in person. And he wanted $7,000 for that hunk of junk and we couldn't do it. So on to the next, we live and we learn, I guess. So uh, let's go back. <laughs> It wasn't painted in the, in the picture, yeah, it right? Was, it was, like, but it looked like a looked like a regular paint job. That was a rattle can paint job with overspray on the exhaust, oh, the on the windows. <laughs> All the moldings were oversprayed <laughs> red. The no. car barely started. Everything was falling off the car, and he was like, "Where's the windshield? Where's the where's the window? Yeah. All right. Well, you know, over the years of buying cars, I have learned to not buy the first one. I, I get overly excited. We go do stuff like this. Puts me or it ends me up in a, in a bad spot with the car. And now that I've learned and now that I have Tim and Phil to tell me not to do make a stupid decision, uh, oh on to the next. Right, so the it is what it is. Well, Phil, we are back for, uh, for round two this time. We are going half the distance, but it's gonna take us the same amount of time to get there. Yeah, just another six hours, you know? I work. Memorial Day traffic is no joke. We're literally about to stop. Okay, yep, this is where it starts. Here we go. Oh. You guys have never experienced LA traffic, just... There it is. This is... This is why you do not move to California. We are continuing our search for the next car. This one is a lot more promising than the one that we failed with last night. Let's so hope. let's hope. We have our fingers crossed. <laughs> Tim's still asleep. Thank you, Tim, for driving us last night. Me and Phil decided Enjoy your to, sleep, man. Me and Phil decided to take the trek and just full send it. So we are still an hour and 40 minutes away. I don't even believe that. It's like another three hours. So uh, yeah, well, we're gonna be sitting in traffic and I'll update you guys once we get there. We're almost there. I am very anxious. Beyond nervous. Beyond nervous right now, but one mile left. Me and Phil are hoping that it's as good as it seems, but let's see. We're once again in the middle of absolute nowhere. You know, man, you like taking me in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right, we're pulling up, and then it should be your next left right here, Phil. She's oh, she left. looks good. What do you mean? Oh, Nothing. She, she looks good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. All right. Hey, hey. It looks really good. Let's uh, really let's park. Good. First test drive. First test drive. We're gonna turn that. As you can see, it goes straight to the floorboard. Sheesh. So we we do need that that piece right there. But uh, I mean, other than that, it it's it's relatively clean. Uh, it's gonna need a passenger door or a passenger side window window. Definitely got reset. moments later. Well, this is what happens when I try and buy a 240 fill. Surprise! Uh, uh, the last 10 minutes, bro. Not even 10 minutes. So this was definitely an unfortunate one. Not even 10 minutes down the road and the transmission blows up. But thankfully, uh, we were actually able to get my money back, give the car back, and move on. So definitely a learning experience for this one. Round number three. Here we go. Third time is a charm, okay? <laughs> First two 240s didn't work out. This time might be a little more promising, Phil. Sure We're at so, a man. Nissan dealership. This one actually looks completely 
bone stock never touched. So we're gonna go check it out and see if the third one could be it. If not, I'm, I'm taking my losses and we're not, I was not meant to have a 180. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Boys, boys, we're having a heated discussion right now. <laughs> This is the this is the real deal. Could be the real deal. Previous owner was an older man. Yeah. Had it for 20 years. It's what I wanted. It's a coupe, completely bone stock. Still has the stock exhaust. This one has the sunroof too, still working. All the moldings are really really nice. What do you guys think? I think you should do it because like there's no other car like this out there. I guarantee it. So we seen two battle. I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna, let's, let's go back to the first car you looked. At. Look at look at what that guy was asking for his, and then look at this one. <sighs> and then the other one is in the last ten minutes. I'll go more in depth once you know whatever happens <laughs> happens. Trim, right? I know it's like you don't get like even your freaking thirty two doesn't have trim like this. I know it's <laughs> this thing was garage kept for twenty something years, and I'll tell you guys the full story once we actually get out of this place, but. Only thing that I don't really like is that the seat belts don't work on the driver's side and there is like this thing's poking me in the back right here. No, but they're like the e-brake doesn't work. It, she needs some love, but I think this could be the perfect project for us guys. I really do think that this one could be the one guys. Let's check it out. <laughs> no, one thing I do want to show you guys really fast, I guess I can't show them the actual title. This still has the OG title from the 2000s. Like, that title still has the date when the guy previously bought it that in 2002. Insane. That it is even matches the tags on the car. That is crazy, dude. Oh, this is the ultimate find. Just like... This car find. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it when we get out of here, but this is so cool. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Now, just she has to make it home. Let's just pray she makes it home. We do, <laughs> have, we do have a trailer in your house. That's true. Well, it's official. I'm now a proud owner. Oh, God, these wipers are on. A proud owner of a 240. Holy crap. This is going to be so cool, guys. I'm so stoked. We got a sunroof, and the molding on it is perfect. One thing that is a little bit sketchy on the ride home, um, we don't have a seatbelt. So it is gonna be a little bit scary. The seatbelt doesn't work. We do have to figure that out. But uh, I'm gonna give you guys the full rundown as soon as we get back to the house. Like, guys, I am beyond stoked right now. This is like the perfect find and I cannot believe, I cannot believe the find itself. Like, this is just so cool. I mean, real quick, look at the dash. Oh my God, it's literally perfectly mint. Everything works. This is just way too cool. by Valvoline. Today we're actually gonna be working on my good friend Phil's WRX. Now Phil gets full use out of his WRX. This thing has over 100,000 miles. So that's why today we're gonna be using Valvoline's brand new high mileage 150K plus 5W30 synthetic blend oil. Introducing the world's first motor oil specifically formulated for engines over 150,000 miles. Powerful detergents help minimize deposits and eliminate blow by by reducing oil consumption. Valvoline's Max Life Plus technology protects vulnerable metal surfaces from friction to increase performance and maximize power. Valvoline's high mileage keeps your favorite ride on the road for years to come. But best of all, you guys can win this. We're going to be doing a giveaway for you guys to win the high mileage 150 plus oil, some Valvoline swag, and some other items. All all you guys have to do is make sure you like this video, you're a subscriber to the channel, and you comment down below what you want to use Valvoline's oil in. If you guys aren't sure about what oil to use in your car, Valvoline actually has a product finder, which I will leave down in the description box below so you guys can find the perfect weight for your car. Make sure you get all of your entries in to win. All right, guys, let's get back to the video.
All right guys, so we have made it home and I figured now's the time to go ahead and show you guys the brand new car that we got and tell you guys the story about this 240 because it is really, really awesome, man. We just do it at the house today. It's Memorial Day weekend, so we kind of took the entire weekend off from the shop. So we're gonna be doing everything in the house garage today, make it a little bit different and have some fun in there and, you know, freshen up the new car. But let's go ahead and go over the 240. So I guess first of all, obviously we should just do a general 360 walk around. Because, I mean, this thing is completely bone stock. It's not perfect. It's definitely uh, seen better days. But all of this stuff is going to show. Oh, yes. Yeah, like all this stuff is going to change eventually. And with this car, guys, you really have to trust my vision here. I know it's hard to see in a stock pig nose 240, especially the coupe. But uh, trust me, guys, this thing is going to completely transform. It's going to be awesome. And just the story about this car's history is just really, really cool. So 360 view, uh, car's bone stock. It has never been modified in its entire life, which is honestly the coolest part. It's still the OEM color, and yeah, it's not in the best of shape, but this car was a daily driver for the last 20 years or so. But um, yeah, there's no like huge dents or anything like that. The body itself is in really good condition, just the paint, not so much. Let's check out the interior. The interior is pretty gross, not gonna lie. This is uh, this is what is definitely gonna need the most work, but it's gonna be the most rewarding. Like I said, this thing was a daily driver, so I'll go ahead and give you guys the entire backstory of this car. This is a two owner car, technically three because the guy who sold it to me, but I don't count him because he was never on the registration and he had it for less than a week. So technically, this car was a two owner car. The gentleman who owned this car before me was an older guy. He has owned this car since 2002 and it was his daily driver ever since. So this car has 281,000 original miles on it, which is a little bit sketchy, yes, but we aren't keeping this engine. We are doing a full swap in this car on this car, so I wasn't too worried about the engine. But in saying that, the car runs really, really nice. I mean, this car drove an hour or so back home with no issues at all, cruising at like 85 miles an hour. And what I love about the engine here too we got a sunroof now the worst part about the interior is the headliner now i've read a lot that the sunroof 240s the headliners and those are the absolute worst whether the sunroof is like leaky or whatever but yeah this headliner has got to be replaced so we're going to be searching for that but back to the history of the car two owner car the previous owner of this car had it since 2002 it was a daily driver for 20 years when he went to the dealership he was actually looking to get the trunk fixed the trunk latch is a little bit janky and it's hard to shut so he's going to try and get that fixed the technician that he was working working with there decided actually asked him if he would sell the car and he ended up selling it to the technician at Nissan which is really really crazy the tech at Nissan had it for a few days and decided to list it for sale uh, to put more money into his 240 I think so that's when I found the ad I had to go check it out because it's uh, a coupe which is what I really really wanted if you guys are OGs of the channel you guys might have seen that years ago I owned a coupe and I was building a coupe and I kind of uh, overshot myself on what I thought I could do back then and had to sell it but we ended up getting an Evo so long story there but I really wanted to redeem myself on that and get a coupe and I saw this one bone stock and I had to come check it out and I'm so happy I did because this thing is a gem never ever modified the pinch welds underneath the car are still there in perfect condition it's absolutely mind-blowing so that's the background of the car and one of the coolest things which I showed you guys earlier is that it still has like the original OG California rainbow uh, title which I think is so cool but this is an awesome building block for me to really create what I have in my mind like a traditional OG Japanese style 240 I want like a static true OG Japanese style car and that's what I'm gonna be doing with this 240 right here I cannot be any more excited uh, like I said you just gotta trust my vision guys but this thing is gonna be freaking dope and I thought in today's video to get everything started I'm actually going to deep clean the interior unfortunately I don't have any tools at the house so I can't take out the seats which we are gonna be putting new seats in the car uh, very very soon you guys will see that in the upcoming video so I can't really take out the seats we'll do underneath the seats when we actually do that but as far as like everything else goes I mean like you guys can see in here it is like dirty dusty gross I mean look at all the hair and stuff in here it's just yeah look at that that's just it's just nasty we're gonna be wiping everything down cleaning it making it shiny I mean I forgot to tell you guys look at the freaking dash not a single crack in this dash it honestly looks brand new it has just been so well preserved and I love it there are a couple of janky things like like this is floppy and old and there's a crack in this bad boy from his arm being right here it's missing this panel the doors were manual and they were converted to 
uh, power, but the switch doesn't work anymore. So I think me and Tim are going to try and tackle this and figure out if we can get the switches for the windows to work now because these are cracked, which means I can't leave it outside. I mean, you guys will see the progress of this thing and the process of this thing being completely transformed. And I'm so freaking hyped for you guys and I'm so hyped for this build. It's gonna be so cool. It's not gonna be a fast build. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. We're gonna take our time with this thing, find all of the right parts and do it step by step. It's not gonna be like a back to back build series like we've been doing. I wanna take this one slow and really get all the right parts for it. So I hope you guys are as stoked as I am. So let's go ahead and get started on cleaning the interior. guys I vacuumed out as best as I could with the seats still in here and it already looks so much better I mean you guys can probably tell how nice the carpet actually still is right now it's all intact even the freaking door cards but these are peeling up as you guys know Nissan didn't use the highest quality material making the 240s so like this plastic still peeling up a little bit and the fabric but that's all easily fixed stuff we can actually even put some even cooler fabric right here but I vacuumed out as much as I possibly could now that the car is vacuumed, I got a couple of other things just at our local auto parts store. Some OxyClean, I'm actually gonna use this to disinfect all of the carpeting down here. Uh, and I'll make it smell a little better in here too because it does smell like an old 90s JDM car. And I also got some Meguiar's uh, interior detail wipe so I can clean out all the crevices and like just the nasty stuff up here. Look at this steering wheel, by the way. I think I'm just gonna send it and cause like this is peeling off and I think I'm just gonna send it and take this entire, oh God, this is so, ugh. Uh, that's fucking gross. Let's go ahead and take out all of, oh my God. And we're just gonna clean this steering wheel off. It's nice that he like, the previous owner had this on there, but I mean, oh my, this is just, this is disgusting. So peeling off this old steering wheel cover that has just turned to disgusting mush here. And we're gonna wipe all of the interior bits off. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, this is like material up here. Yeah, so while this seeps into the carpet, we're gonna use the interior wipes and clean all this stuff off and then we can actually wipe the carpet with the top. But first let's peel off this nasty stuff here. Look at her. No, you no. know. <laughs> oh my you know. Goodness. I've seen better things. No, come on, <laughs> come on. This is uh, this is Tiana's first time seeing the 240. I think when I met you, what right when I first met you is when. I was selling my 240, so you never got to see it in person. I never ever saw, I only saw pictures of, wasn't it like brown or something? It was brown, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was worse than this one, hard to, hard to believe, I know. <laughs> but no, um, I wanna give you guys a quick walk around. This is Tiana's first time seeing it. The interior though, came out phenomenal. Let me show you guys what it lo what the rags look like from cleaning the interior. Just, just, I'm just gonna grab a couple. This is what the rags look like after cleaning the interior. Check this out, babe. After oh, wiping God. everything off, this is what came out and it's just gross. But I mean, watch your feet real fast. Look how, like, my mind is actually blown at how clean this actually what year came is out. This? It's an A, it's either an 89 or a 90, I can't remember. So it's older than us. It's older than us, That's yes. crazy. It is crazy. So everything, like, now that it's all wiped this down, the dash is incredible, the steering wheel is incredible. This was probably the grossest part, but um, like the carpeting is amazing. The seats are gonna get uh, get taken care of, and yeah, I, I know. Rough. I know. How you sick is the sunroof? It, it works too. Really? Yeah. That's but yeah, I wanna show you guys also, look at all the moldings. Uh, I sh I've been showing Tiana these for so long, and every single one that we found See, here's is a like, turd. I know what you're going to do with it because I have been waiting for you to do what you're gonna do to it. Yeah. So that's what's so cool, but like right now. <laughs> <laughs> just like, th they call this a pig nose and this is just so awful. What is that? I know. Look it's... at it from this angle, it's worse. 
<laughs> and like the the OEM blade wheels. <laughs> Oh, it's bad, man. but it's so cool repeating myself, but it's just because I'm so excited I mean as many times as we've gone to seeing cars I've never seen molding as good as this especially for like the sunroof all of the window trim like it's crazy This guy even put like moldings around his fender liners oh, yeah. And something so cool these fenders are unmolested completely stock never rolled never touched Well, because that's what it is and then I'll show you guys the pinch welds down here as well Ugh. The pinch welds are still all intact, which is absolutely crazy. This guy is a little a little beat up now that I look at it, but way better than a lot of the other ones that I've seen. It's just so cool. I'm so happy. It's a time machine. It's it is. Of course, we had to put the uh, the legend sticker to make it official. Now it's my official car. It, yeah. She's good. We got lucky. This is most definitely a hidden gem that you know I never expected to find. Two owner car. Guys had it for 20 plus years. Completely stock. Those never are the modified. Best stories. I, I just, I just, I honestly so cannot believe it, and I feel like it landed perfectly into my, <laughs> yes, and I'm, I'm just so excited for it. I've been waiting for this for so long. It's to do like crazy because you used to have one, but yeah. then you got rid of it. And I gotta redeem myself, and it, like I've been wanting to do just a traditional OG Japanese build for so long. What do we name her? I don't know. What should we name her? Um, like Tofu. Tofu. I like it. Okay, her name's Tofu. <laughs> Man, I am just so happy. Also, don't even think I mentioned this, AC, ice freaking cold. Well, hopefully we have AC for, for a while. Hopefully we can retain it with the swap. But like I said, just trust the process, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy. And the stench in here, 10 times better. Now it's, now it smells like a good, 90s JDM car, not not like a BO 90s JDM car. Much, much better. Very happy with how all the plastics came out and the carpet. I feel a lot better and a lot cleaner driving this thing, as you guys can probably tell in here now. Looks like a very, very nice car. So, let's put this thing in the garage.